हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर टुडेज टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू पाइपलाइनिंग दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पाइपलाइनिंग what happens when sequential operation is being done why there is a need of pipelining so i'll be telling you in detail about the instruction pipelining let us begin see pipelining is natural you can understand with the help of this example this is a very basic example very interesting example i have taken an example of laundry right there are four persons amit sumit namit and punith and all of them have to perform a task task of what related to the clothes so there are three steps washing drying and then folding if washing takes 30 minute drying takes 40 minutes folding takes 20 minutes so when first person if amit is doing the task how much time it takes 30 plus 40 plus 20 means 90 minutes means one load takes 90 minutes of duration so when four persons are going to perform the same task one after other it means how much time 90 minutes for each an individual means for four persons 90 minutes into 4 which is 360 minutes means 6 hours in total right because each one is having 90 minutes so in total by 4 so total time required would be 360 minutes you can understand the sequential laundry as i have told you when first person amit is performing the task first washing then drying then folding again the next person will start when first will complete the task next will start washing drying folding so this is how i have told you that total 6 hours is being taken for four loads but what is the possibility if this laundry work can be done in the pipeline manner right so what is their possibility and if there is any advantage or not let us understand here in this particular diagram you can see some of the task is being done in a parallel manner right here you can see the task order is being listed out on this x axis time is being listed out just for just to give you a glimpse when first person amit first that particular person is doing washing nothing can be done but when drying of clothes is being done then second person starts washing clothes so in this manner when first task is done so second person can perform the first task and accordingly the task will be handled in a parallel manner so what happened in this particular case if you compute the total time required for four loads means for four persons when some of the function some of the things is being done parallelly then laundry takes 3.5 hours for four loads so this is the concept of pipelining means the sum of the task is being done is being handled in parallelly so originally the task which was performed in 6 hours of the duration now it can be done in 3.5 hours so from this particular example it must be clear to you what is the concept of pipelining and definitely it is going to reduce the time involved in the performing of any particular task so this is the example just i have taken to give you a understanding what happened in a non pipeline manner and what happened in the case of the pipeline now let us talk about the instruction pipelining see instruction pipelining means you know that when you are writing a program that program consists of many instructions one by one each and every instruction is being executed and then after the execution of the all instructions you are going to say means this is the execution of the program so when you are understanding pipelining in instructions so pipelining this is a technique where multiple instructions are overlap during execution so pipelining it can be understood in a Uh, like manner where there is a large diagram means uh, the overall diagram or the overall task is being divided into stages 
and all the stages are connected with one after other that is why it is going to form a pipe like structure and the they, because of this this particular concept is known as the concept of pipelining so when you are observing a pipeline structure means stages are connected one after other means instruction will enter from one end and it will exit from other end so you can see instruction will enter from here and you'll be getting the output at this end and the purpose of pipelining is to increase the overall instruction throughput this is the important factor because of the concept of pipelining arises and pipelining is being used so you can see many stages over here and first stage is being connected with the second second is being connected with the third that is what you can see a pipeline kind of structure so here you can see each segment you can see this is a one segment right this is one segment it consists of a input register followed by a combinational circuit the purpose the function of register is to hold the data and the combinational circuit is used to perform the operations arithmetic logical operations and the output of combinational circuit is applied to the input register right this is what you can observe in this particular circuit this is what you can see so there is one more uh, very interesting example of pipelining which can be uh, observed in modern day assembly line setup in factories so what happened uh, for example uh, if we talk about car manufacturing industry right so there is a huge assembly line and that huge assembly line are set up at each and every point and there are robotic arms to perform certain tasks and then car moves on ahead to the next arm so accordingly one by one function is going to be performed and finally the entire task will be done here you can see there is a sub task of the instruction any instruction in any process that can be divided into five sub tasks the sub tasks are instruction fetch instruction decode or op operand fetch instruction execute and operand store this five step five sub tasks can be viewed in terms of the risk structures also risk processors also so instruction fetch is what instruction is fetched then fetched instruction is decoded at the second stage now in the third stage operand of the instruction is fetched and finally during the instruction execution arithmetic and logical operation is performed on the operand so that the instruction is executed and in the last result is stored in the memory operand store so result is stored in the memory so as i have told you that one instruction process is divided into sub tasks so let us understand in this particular diagram you can see pipelining of five instructions so five instructions instruction 1 2 3 4 five instructions has been taken as an example and for each and every instruction you can see first this is the instruction fetch instruction decode operand fetch instruction execute operand store means five sub task of instruction 1 right similarly all five sub task are all the instructions is being listed out over here but what is happening when instruction is fetched first instruction is fetched in p not cycle now what is happening when first instruction is decoded in t1 cycle now in this t1 cycle second instruction can be fetched similarly in t2 cycle when first instruction is uh operand of first instruction is fetched while second instruction is decoded the third instruction can be fetched so this is how you can see one after other means there is a overlapping in this particular manner so that when next instruction is decoded first instruction can be fetched right so in this particular manner hardware never sits idle it is always busy in performing some or some other operations 
right? So this is how you can understand the concept of pipelining. But you must remember one thing that no two instructions can execute their same stage at the same clock cycle. No two instructions means instruction number two or three, for example, they cannot decode their instructions in the same clock cycle. That is what the important thing is. So I hope now the concept of instruction pipelining is clear to you. In the next video, I shall be talking about pipelining hazards. Thank you so much for watching this video.